Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Two Dicks Exposed. Last week, we started our conversation about Avatar The Last Airbender, which is one of the greatest shows around. Continuing that conversation this week, we have our hosts, not Mike and not Pat. Let's jump right in. Sorry, you were talking about favorites. Uh, so, uh, favorite, uh, we did favorite Airbender. Who's your favorite Airbender? Zaheer. Z- oh, yeah, Zaheer. I, I forget or that he's an Airbender. Milo. Who? Milo. I love Milo. <laughs> Milo's dope. Bending. It's not Aang, I'll tell you that much. Um, Aang is cool, but he's not the best airbender. Favorite earthbender. I feel like you have to say Boomy or Toph. It has to be Boomy or Toph. They're like, the, it, literally the best. It has to be either Boomy or Toph. Or Bolin. Even Bolin is... Bolin is bad. Bolin is my Bolin bae. is bad. When he got lava bending... Yo. Yes. My God. God. That fight so was incredible. Was a character that, that was shitted on the most, though. They built him up to become like... Uh, like amazing in season three in the Zaheer season and they they nerfed him so bad in season four they really did fuck him they were up. like they you're did. taking this prime specimen of a man earthbender yeah like of a man and of an earthbender and in season four you're making him a lackey in fucking hitler's army yeah which let's be honest season four was world war ii kuvira was hitler with yeah. mech soldiers exactly how world war ii happened exactly um, exactly i'm a history major so. Le- Legend of Korra ended in season three with yeah, so Korra you're... poisoned and hating life. I see. I don't hate season four, but I do. I, 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 I think it's because like season two was so bad that you have to like seasons one, three, and four. Well, well, season four was it should have been right. was season one, season, season four, four, season three, season two never existed. I thought season three was one. So no, season, four season four had no. One. Season four had no like redeeming factors. So season one was the separatists. Yes. Or the the non benders. The, the non benders. Yes. The the guy who could take away bending. Uh Amon. Uh, Amon. 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 Was season one. Season... Uh, one of my favorite bands, Amon Amarth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, which oh, by the way, season one ending, one of the darkest things ever. Yes. Where the brothers are riding off on He's the like, speedboat. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. we can start over, and then he takes the electric gauntlet and shoves it in the gas tank and blows them both up. Like yep. this is fucking Nickelodeon. This is Nick Dude. Um, we'll get there because like that's dark, but not as dark. The 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 episode that got them pulled off Nickelodeon was, was in season three when Zaheer sucked the air out, out of the my, Earth Queen. Oh my god! I remember like being like a teenager and like we would talk about like airbending mm-hmm. and I'd be like, "Yo, man!" And you would like, "Man, if I was an airbender, I would just like take the air out of their lungs if they took a breath in." And then like flash like flash forward like twelve years later, and they animate they that. animate that like her face turning purple her eyes going Dude, bloodshot i was like i remember watching it and like literally being silent yeah. just being like oh that just happened yeah like cora <laughs> cora had invincibility yeah like they they did whatever they wanted to really straight up they they blew a girl's fucking head off they did. They God. did. Sparky, sparky, boom woman. Yeah. She God, her it. head went sparky, sparky, and boom The thing boom. is, like, I remember that scene was so quick that you're just like, did you literally that have just to, happen? <laughs> you right. have to, like, think about it. Like, yeah. her and head it's exploded. terrible because, like, I remember watching on Nickelodeon, as the show's watching, SpongeBob was always on after. Yeah. So it would have that little snippet preview of SpongeBob laughing and be like, ah, we're on next. And then, like, her face is just yeah. exploding and, and in the And that was background. Bolin, right? Bolin whipped the metal, or was yeah, it uh, he, Lin? No, it was Lin. Was it, was it Lin? Was metal bending? Okay, yeah. was it Bolin, Bolin like about to die? Bolin or something can't metal like bend. That? I thought he learned how to metal bend. He couldn't metal bend. He couldn't metal bend. I, I know he could lava bend. bend. Mm-hmm. Yep, but that was his thing. That was his yeah, because mm-hmm. that's why he was so good at lava bending because he was so like attuned to trying to change something that it was like immediate for him. Okay. God. Yeah. Uh, so. So many good, so many great moments. And Cora, I, I do need to sit down and rewatch Cora. You know what? I'm just gonna sit down and rewatch all of it. Why not? You might as well. Might as well. Might as well. Um, um, so then, let's go to the next one. Uh, favorite waterbender. I, I feel like I gotta stay away from Cora, but I mean, the dude from Zaheer's team that had the water arms. Oh yeah, that dude was cool. He was cool. That was cool. Katara season three was cool. I I'd have to give it to Katara once, just once she because, got blood bending. Yeah, um, I'd have to give it to Katara because like her, she's the only one that really like shows it. And like that moment, oh my god, I my heart broke for Katara when she had to like 
use bloodbending the first time. Oh my god! Yeah. Because she literally was just like, I don't want to do this, and like she literally put her in a position, and she had to use it. Mm-hmm. And you just like, like you could see like they're arresting the girl, and you could see like Katara like just crying because like what she had to do to stop her was mm-hmm. something that she didn't want. I was like, well, oh and like god. the fact that as they're arresting that old woman, she's like cackling, cackling yeah, she's as like, they pull her off. I because she's like, I won, I won, I won. You may have beat me. But I won. See, her, she had such a hatred for the Fire Nation. Yeah. She was like, I will destroy my own life to make you the perfect weapon. Right. And then, like, the, just that, like, three-minute segment where it goes from the old woman being like, oh, I got her, to being like, oh, shit. Like, I got her. And yeah. And she is way more powerful than I ever anticipated right. to just, like... <laughs> she is way more powerful than like just yeah. that transitioning that's going through that person's mind and which is also like horrible. So Avatar Universe does this great job of taking a person and making them human. Like yes. no one's bad, no one's good. Everyone just experienced life. Like that old lady was Katara's mom's best friend yeah. growing up and was in jail and like falsely imprisoned and tortured for like 30 years. Before she finally killed all of the jail, like, yeah. guardsmen and broke her way out and then lived in, like, solitude in the forest because she was too afraid to go out. Like, that would turn anyone fucking crazy. Do you want to talk about, like, characters that, like, you're bringing this up, like, characters that are good and evil? Like, it's like a, it's, it's, it, it, it's drawn that line, that morality line, right? Like, we know Ozai is inherently evil, right? Right. Because his plan at the end is, like, just a burn I'm just everything. gonna kill everyone that's not Fire Nation. Everything. Right. Um, you going back to Katara when he um, she has her episode with Zuko right. the, rough, uh, the, uh, the Rough Rider the Rhino Rough Riders whatever they're called when she's literally staring the man that killed her mother in the eyes mm-hmm. she he's like she's like I can't like because I feel like on a level she's like it, this is like this. Yes, I am. It is your fault that my mother is dead, but it's not inherently like it's your war. It's wartime. Right. Like you are doing what you were told to do. Your, yeah. your, your, your Ozai passed on a thing. Like we're not taking prisoners this time. Right. We're not taking prisoners. If there's a waterbender there, kill, kill him. it. And she had to like look this man in the eyes and was like, I forgive you. I, I, I mean, he was you, like an I've... old, broken, yeah, groveling man. Oh yeah, because like he was like living with his mom, right? Like, stuff like that. And he was begging for it. Yeah, he, he was, was like, so broke. Please kill oh, me. My God, like, yes, kill me. He's you... like, I, I resent being who I was back then. Like, like, like end me. <laughs> like, right. I always think it's funny that like the core story of the Avatar is to break the cycle yes. when it's about a cycle. It's a great <laughs> like, cycle. let's just end this. Um. I did want to put in my two cents, though. Favorite waterbender, the Swamp People. Oh, uh, how do you forget yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yep. yes, yes, yes. They are fantastic. Yep. What is it? You is the big guy. I can't remember the names of the other one. I can't remember the other two ones. Joe. Joe, probably. <laughs> Jeb and Joe. They're probably all named you. Yeah. Yeah. He was, I you. loved him. I had to, it took me a while to collect all the seaweed. I love him. God. There's the scene when they tried to invade the firearm or the fire nation the first time he's fucking seaweed monster out in the mm-hmm. water just grabbing missiles and just chucking them back I on land loved him so oh much. my god then um gotta go to favorite firebender i i i iro sad zuko i am a zuko stan dude i love him i love iro i love iro to death but iro was already a completed character like, that's true iro like, had no story development because dude, he just I was would, Give Already my perfect. left nut to have the Iroh series, though. Oh, my God, yes. Give yeah. me the series where Iroh... Like, like, I know what happens to his son already, and yeah. I will cry during that episode. Oh, dude, I will cry. Like, I cry during that episode even now. Like, the... Uh, what's it called? Um, uh, uh, t- Tales from the Tales Vine. Of, Tales of Bossing Say. Yeah, but uh, Tears from the Tears Vine. Tears from the Vine is the song. Tears from the... Oh, my God, oh my I'm tearing God. up. And then the, the worst head. part is, like, that's the episode dedicated Did to him make, because yeah, he passed me. away. Yeah, I think that... Was that the last episode he worked on? Or did he record every episode? I think he up until that finished point? season two. Yeah, I think season two was. But yeah. like that was the episode that aired after uh, he passed he away. So they tacked away. on like the in memory, oh, loving memory of, my God. because then they brought in the new voice actor for season three, well, and puts, who re- refuses to sing, uh, 
Tears the from the The guy who sings that? He refuses to sing that song the, the, in real life? The voice the actor for season over. three that took yeah. over, he was like, I will not sing that because that is not me. This is to honor, you know, uh, Mako, who I came before me. He was like, I, I will not do it. So, like, fans ask him all the time. Fans ask it. him, apparently, during, like, panels, and he's mm-hmm. just like, no, I, I won't. No. Good. Yeah, because he's on, Um, I think it's, what's the cameo? Like, the thing that a lot of voice actors do? Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. he's on there. In his description, he's like, I will not do Iroh. Like, I know you want it. I will not do Iroh. Right. Like, that is not his mm-hmm. character. He was just, like, I had to, like, it bringing closure to, to a character. like, yeah. a friend, you know, pretty much. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. But I, I'd have to give the Zuko because, like, Everything about him, like his like his fire breathing, like to keep himself warm, all that stuff. It what? Did, it's the scrappiness. Did of Korra him even have like another main firebender besides yeah, Mako? Mako. I mean, besides him, uh, Iro. Oh yeah, different Iro, but yeah, yeah, he wasn't really like main no, he really character. Wasn't in it, no, I didn't like Mako. I, I thought he was cool in like season one, but then he was just like so whiny. He's so whiny. So I'm whiny. Just like, oh. He's like, oh, Cora doesn't like me. I just want like an interaction between him and Sokka and Sokka being like, yeah, my ex-girlfriend's the moon. And Mako just being like, well, my ex-girlfriend dated my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he probably did like ultimately nice. very <laughs> nice. What I like about what I do like about Cora so much is that like Mako, the pretty boy, blah, 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 blah. Like he gets he gets um Cora. He gets um Asami. Sa- Asami. Um, and then both of them realize like, oh, you have no like. Re- like you're just redeeming pretty. factors yeah, like you're, you're just pretty yeah and they break out with him and they get together and then bolin ends up with the uh what's her face uh with airbender girl yeah toff's granddaughter it is toff's granddaughter yeah yeah i wonder how toff felt about his one of her children being like one of her like descendants being an airbender <laughs> like god uh, damn it like, twinkle toes fuck it now i'm a dick oh like it, 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 it's it's fantastic. Avatar: The Last Airbender, um, and Avatar: The Legend of Korra are definitely worth watching if you haven't watched them. I do have to touch on like two other shows real quick before we end. Okay. If you haven't watched them, please watch uh, Dragon Prince. Yep. Same yes. studio. Same studio. Uh, same creators. I think. Uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Same. Yeah. And also, if you haven't watched it. Please, 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 please. I love this show with a passion, but please watch Voltron Legendary Defenders on Netflix. Yep. Uh, you not done get by the, the same, same people, feels, but, but it's the same animation, animated in studio. Yes, yeah, same studio that did the animation. But it, like, the people that made Korra were on Voltron mm-hmm. and they they carried over all those feels. I mean, Varric, um, who's one of the best comedy characters in the entire series. Oh, my God, easily. Yeah, easily. Which that voice actor passed away too. He did. No wait, Rice Darby. Didn't he? Didn't he? Rice Darby's not dead. That well, the voice actor for Varric was the guy who was in Pitch Perfect, right? Yeah. Reese Darby. Is Sorry. that his name? Reese. I think it's. It doesn't sound right. It's R H Y S. Well, uh, or maybe I'm getting the wrong person. No, Reese Darby is the Australian man. Is the Australian? Yeah, he's yeah. the one that does. The co-captain in Voltron. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh. The co-captain? Wait, he's still alive though, right? He's like the whatever the guy that was with the queen. He's yeah, still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah restart um, me. Hello there. John Michael Higgins, it says. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm getting the voice. Bar- I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting the voice. He's still alive too. Because he, he. Who died? <laughs> the same. Because someone died. The dude that was in Pitch Perfect. He is still alive because that's he's John Michael Higgins. He's still alive? I thought he passed away. There was a character that died. That that I I know I know there is someone that did pass away because it was, was like a wow he was young. Kind yeah, of it was like, a, yeah, yeah a yeah. young person. Because I remember everyone coming at me being like, oh, it was like you know blah 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 from Voltron. I was like, Reese Darby. There's no fucking way. No, because he was just in that show with um, Taika Waititi, He's like our flag means death. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I I hear it in my head now. Like I'm I'm listening to um very Koran, similar voice. Koran. Koran. Grand, grand, the the spaceman, and yeah. then um, Varric, but Varric has like that, like it's that nineteen forties, like Julie, do the thing, but like mm-hmm. when you hear Coran, like oh, well, it's got that Australian the, accent the to twing it, to it, yeah. yeah. So yeah, bonus question for you guys. <laughs> bonus question. Bonus Favorite question. non-bender. 
Oh, Sokka. I can tell you my least favorite. I think Jet's useless. Yeah, Jet. Jet fucking sucks. Uh, Jet had a fan, another character that had a great fucking character redemption arc. He literally like stayed behind so that um they could escape from. Uh, he had a great redemption arc, but he had a horrible story. Yeah, I was gonna say it's, it's hard like not to be redeemed when you start at zero. Like mm-hmm. his story is like he it, it's again it's a it's a it's. What if Jet had just met Ang and the gang after the events that followed, where his family was murdered by the Fire Nation? Like, That's fair. He lit like he is a product of like everyone in that story is a product of their environment. Jet is literally like I literally witnessed multiple time Fire Nation soldiers killing people and torturing and murdering people. Like we need to like end them. They're all bad. All of them are bad, right? No, it's a very very realistic backstory yeah. that I can get behind. I just I don't like him. Yeah, no. He, but you were completely skipping over the best non bender. It's the Cabbage Man. The Cabbage Man. Well, no, he's a Cabbage Bender. It, mm? Yeah, he, okay. he's, he's the Cabbage Bender. The Cabbage Bender. <laughs> Ty Lee is great. I was going to say like Ty Lee. Sokka's teacher. Even Sokka's Mai. Oh my God, I, don't, yes. I don't hate Mai. She's like very monotone There's so and stuff, many but like, good non-benders in the series. I was say, right. what's the Bang's other son that doesn't bend? Boomy? Boomy. Yeah. Who becomes an airbender. Boomy. Yeah, he does become an airbender. Yeah, but after he's, like, already a decorated war general. There's yeah. There's the girlfriend yeah. of the main character, or one of the main guys in Flora, too. Asami. She's not a bender. Asami, she's, she's not, not a bender, but she's, like, a master martial artist. Yeah, master martial artist and a, like, fantastic, like, f- like genius. Like, right. She just th- thinks of things like, like That's another spot. thing that the Avatar universe did, is they wrote strong women characters yes. without being, like... I'm writing a strong woman character. Like, they were just like, I'm going to write a strong character. Without doing oh, yeah. what Marvel Endgame did. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, they didn't have... Okay, all women in one picture, All women please. in one place. <laughs> we're going to have a massive team up real quick. Like, no, they were just like... Well, hold on, we're going to need one man in here. Yeah. Yeah. But also, shout out, because we didn't talk about this. Because Katara and uh, Toph alone carried the Ang gang. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the Ang gang couldn't have been anything without Momo and Appa. Yes. Yo, like, that oh my man, God, the animals. The animals. The like, animals. Pabu, Pabu, Momo, Appa... What's the dog's uh, Nala. name? Nala. Nala. Like, they had so much personality, and they didn't say a damn word until you Can get to the we hallucination. Talk about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's great, but yeah. the cutest animals by oh. far, top two. I know this already. Turtle ducks mm-hmm. and ducks. baby sky bison. Azula baby sky bison. is a monster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But when I saw the baby sky bison, I literally turned from like. Well, I was trying to be a super masculine, like twenty-two-year-old man, to just like, oh my god, oh my god, he's so cute, oh my god. Like, I, I reverted back to like a three-year-old what, getting a stuffed animal. What Avatar and, does fantastic is everything. Honestly, it's everything. They do everything fantastic. Yeah. But not only do they have strong women characters that like are just they stand on their own. Katara mm-hmm. and Toph have like uh, many episodes or part of episodes where they're by themselves or the episodes centered on them. But like, unlike The Simpsons, where like if you have a Marge and Maggie episode, I don't appreciate your tone. It's skippable. <laughs> Those are skippable episodes. Mm-hmm. But like, when you have like, but female centric episodes in Avatar, like they don't like, they're they're fantastic. Uh, the, uh, like, like they the, don't feel like they're pushing an agenda. No, yeah, like, there's when, nothing in these shows that feel like they're pushing an agenda except for like the agendas bad. that need to be pushed yeah the right. war is bad stop war that is literally like the- war sucks racism sucks yeah like uh national propaganda what's that called where you get uh, fucking brainwashed it's so, not just propaganda it's uh, um nationalism national yeah is that nationalism it? okay yeah yeah like i mean that was a heavy portion of season three of avatar where yeah. they're hiding in the fire nation and everyone's just like oh yeah we saved the world it's like oh my god good out there the fire nation's the yeah. fucking united states of america yeah um um like there's so many like there's mm. so many things and, and like, like even in real life this is our side no, story i'm gonna take us out of the universe real quick so brian kietsu and michael DiMartino. Obviously, we're, they both went to animation studios and stuff like that. So the, I can't remember which one did one which, but one of them was more of an animator while the other one worked on storyline. Right. They were like friends in high school, split up, went to different animation studios, bounced around a little bit and all that stuff. And then they finally got back together and they're like, hey, remember that thing we were trying to create back in like high, college? Let, let's do something to this. And they were both like, all right, well, there's a studio over in like South Korea or something like that. They're like, we both worked with them. We think they're great. 
and they like went and toured it and they were looking at some of like the doodles that they were doing and they were like why aren't you actually drawing this like right. this is so much better than the stuff that like regular studios are hiring you to do and they were just like we don't have the ability to do this and they were like all right well if we hire you as our studio we are giving you free reign to do this. So that's the reason why like Avatar and Korra just exploded when it came to animation. Right. Because once season one kicked off, they were like, you have free reign to do what you want. And the budget like blew up. Right. And they went to the studio and they said, here's the storyline, draw it how you would want to see it. And every artist and like animator was so excited to do this. Their level just went up and it got to the point where it broke off as a separate studio. So now that is avatar studios. Nice. And, or I mean, it sure it has a real name. Um, but like, that's what they focus on. And that's why we got like Voltron. Like right. Voltron, Voltron is amazing. Beautiful. Fantastic. Um, I love everything about it. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, like obviously we can talk about Avatar, you know, f- fucking forever. 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 Um, but like, so for all you people that haven't watched it, for even the people that have watched it, um, you probably heard a couple years ago, Avatar got picked up by Netflix, and they signed on the two creators, uh, Michael DiMartino and Brian Kietzu, and they were all game to make live action Avatar with their input, and it was going to be a lot of like just retelling the story, but live action, right. which all of the fans honestly were super excited about. Yeah. We just want the, st- we, we don't, we just want the story. We want something to just do justice to the story. Right. And unfortunately, Netflix pulled the same shit that Shyamalan did where they were like, we're going to take this story, but we're going to tweak it a little bit yeah. and start changing it's things. Literally and on CW. you can tell that they weren't actually fans of the show. They were just fans of the money the show made. Right. Because they started changing points that had like critical impacts on the show. Like, you know, like something just as simple as changing, like, who was older between Sokka and Sor- or Katara. Right. Like, like that's a huge dynamic. Yeah. And they were like, well, let's just make Katara younger so she's more Aang's age. It's like, all right, well, now she's not the older motherly figure that to Sokka Aang. looks up to. Yeah. You know, she is Sokka's younger sister, which is going to change the whole dynamic of their relationship. And, like, Netflix didn't get that. Isn't Sokka the older bro- sibling? Katara is. I think Sokka's older. Sokka is older. Sokka's the older is, brother. I think so. right. Katara's his mother. Yeah. Is. Well, either way, they were taking away the motherly aspect. Yeah, if she's the same age as Aang, it takes away the motherly aspect completely. Because right. the reason why Sokka and Katara were fantastic, because they're close in age. They're yeah. probably like two years apart. But Katara definitely picked up on her mother's, like. Nurturing. Right. Because right. she spent a lot of time with her mother. Right. Um, um, but yeah, like because so, that's what that's 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 part of what makes Sokka such a great character is the fact that like Sokka was born as a non-bender and he's the older brother, and then all of a sudden out comes his little sister who is a bender, and he's like, "How do I remain the older brother, the protector, the the one that looks after my sister when she can literally fucking move entire fucking like tsunamis?" Right. Like, how do I do that? And like. He does throughout the entire series. Like, even though he's not a bender, he stays the older brother to Katara. Right. There's multiple he's times the, the confidant, the shoulder yeah. to cry on, yeah. the leader, the tactician, the the comedy relief. Which is why like Katara's motherly nature does so well is because like there's moments where she, he needs someone to like pull him back, to nurture him, to be right. Like, just because you're the leader doesn't mean that like you don't get hurt as well. And that's why like that closeness and age siblingly like brotherly and sisterly love mm-hmm. works so well for them so like yeah like making her the same age as ang who's 10 it doesn't work it kills your character you know it kills her character almost completely. like Shyamalan taking away like Sokka's comedy like yeah. it kills the character so anyway disputes happened and the two creators ended up pulling right, out yeah. of the Netflix deal they now Netflix is still releasing live Why? action it just does not have input from the two creators i heard it's a high school drama i don't know all i've seen is i've seen the characters they cast to play the characters and at least i can say i think it's a good casting based on resemblance in and of itself i know that like th- that was the issue that people had with cowboy bebop was like the casting was fine i, I people right. didn't it's... like who ca- who they were casted but the story was just shit right and i i think the story I've heard gonna be actually good and... things about the One Piece live action, though. I've heard like people yeah. actually talking like the One Piece live action is gonna be actually good because um, that's what I hear. Yeah, Oda has been nonstop working with them, 
mm-hmm. and there's one person you're not going to fuck over. It's going to be Oda. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so but anyway. We have a bunch of announcements, though, besides that. Yes. So when that separation happened, they just decided, yeah. fuck this. No one else can make what we want to make except for us. us. And they're all going to try and screw us over in some way unless we just have full creative control. So they have Avatar Studios now. And we are getting an adult and gang. Yes. So they all released. these questions we brought up earlier in the episode, we might get answers to. Right. You know, why? Who is Sokka with? Who is Lin's father? Right. You know, why Why is everyone so depressed and hating their life? Um, we are getting, I believe, a Solo Zuko Solo show, Zuko movie. Yes. Or a Solo Zuko movie. Yes. Which I wouldn't be surprised if they do if they animate his search for his mother they already released that as a side story but i wouldn't be surprised if they make that the movie um we are getting the earthbenders that we talked about earlier an actual series an actual series based on the earthbender or benders Benders. i'm not sure if it's no information out at this point um and then we are also getting a series of side stories with either side characters from the original series or the Korra series yes. or just new characters living in the Avatar world. Yeah. And I'm really excited for them to just expand on that lore. Right. Just in general. It's going to be so good, dude. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm more excited for this than I am anything Marvel is putting out no, at this no, point. No. no. Marvel, like, I, I have yet to see Guardians of the Galaxy, so I'm not sure it was if good. I can say that. Is it was it good. good. Right. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Avatar, like... Again, like with uh, my my two daughters, I'm like excited for like the idea of like being able to introduce them to like a a universe that like just is going to be established and just be like, hey, well, we ran out of Avatar: Last Airbender, we ran out of Korra. Let's watch Dragon Prince. Let's watch um, Voltron. Voltron, and then by then, like maybe the first movie's out. Big question before we sign off: Avatar, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z. That's what great... universe are you living in? Oh man, I would choose Avatar in the front heartbeat. Would you? Yeah, like I, Pokemon's cool. All right, now, here's the thing: Am I choosing to live in that universe? And I have like the ability, like going into that universe, I can do X, Y, and Z. Like if I were to be like, if I were to go to the Dragon Ball universe, like, do I have the ability to say like I have a uh, key energy, or am I like? I mean, everyone has the ability for that. Roll the dice. You know. Okay, so you're a Dragon Ball universe, you're an Earthling. But an Earthling. you live on the shore next to Master Roshi. Right, so I can become something. You could become something. You could right. become Yamcha. If I get a, uh, if I go into the Avatar universe, can I be a bender? Or do I have to like, roll the dice? Roll the dice. Uh, I, I choose Pokemon. I, you have a you four and five be chance master. of being a bender. You can, you always, can always be, be a Pokemon ba- Always master. be a Pokemon master if you go you to the You can always Pokemon be a Pokemon universe. master, baby. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like if I if I knew that I could go into a Dragon Ball universe and do like Kamehameha's, awesome. If I knew I can go into an Avatar universe and be any of the benders, fantastic. But like if the die is rolled for those two, mm-hmm. at least anyone and their mother can be a Pokemon master. <laughs> That's fair. Anyone can like you just go get a Pokeball. Let's let's go deep. Throw it at a Pidgey. And you get to say ten years old for your whole life. Yeah. For at least twenty five years. At least twenty five years. At least twenty five years. All right, all right. Quick question, then we'll cut this out. Would you rather be Sokka, Professor Oak, or Yamcha? Uh, Sokka in a heartbeat. Do okay. Sokka... Two kings against Yamcha? <laughs> <laughs> Sokka pulled... Hey, Yamcha can fly. Sokka pulled, dude. Sokka did good for himself. Sokka, like, four girls were after that D. Yeah. Five. I'm sorry, one turned into a moon. He, <laughs> like, he interacted to the moon, Like, man. five different girls were like, I like that. I'd, I'd hit that. Yeah. God, still one of the best lines Oak in the whole series. Oak only pulls one girl. Sorry. Oh, you don't know that. And that's, a, that's an old. Oak has a whole thing where he sends every child away from his hometown and oh gets God. with all them moms. He's he's actually Ash's dad. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. But. Yeah. <laughs> and that's. We're going to end our end Avatar there. episode with talking that. talking about so, Zaka pool and tail. Zaka and Professor Oak getting some. Yeah. But, uh. Until next week, guys. Until next week, guys. All right. See ya. See ya. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to join us here every Thursday on YouTube and Spotify as we drop new episodes of that good shit. And don't forget to give us a follow on Instagram and TikTok for some solid filler content to get you through the week at Not Mike, Not Pat. You should be watching.